So we are back with another news roundup with Cyberpunk 2077. Now let's be honest, since the latest delay announcement, things have kind of been quiet from CDPR. Today I cover news from the weekend and prior which you may have missed as well as talk about why I think we desperately need a Night City Wire 5. How's it going my beautiful people, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed your stay here and enjoyed the video consider leaving a like as it really helps me out. And while subscribe if cyberpunk is your thing and you want more and also stay tuned until the end of the video for giveaway details okay so to start now i covered this in a previous video but i thought i'd cover it quickly again cdpr have teamed up with samsung to launch an amazing puzzle based game in which whoever cracks the code first wins this limited edition cyberpunk tv and it looks incredible think you've got what it takes people click the link within the video description it also helps support me directly so we have some new in-game images that I haven't seen many cover, new advertisements, word from the CEO of CDPR in regards to the crunch and also apologising to his employees for said comments on the crunch, the use of music in-game and how it may affect content creators, a fall in stock and more. So let's go. So firstly let's check out the CEO of CDPR's remarks on the crunch when in the latest investor call from last week which happened after the announcement of the delay until December 10th. Now I will add before we go any further that a lot of people have different opinions on this so-called crunching and overworking employees etc etc. I said my piece in the previous video, today I want to hear what you think. But this is what was said by CDPR CEO Adam Kaczynski when talking to investors about crunch. Regarding crunch, actually it's not that bad and never was. Of course it's a story that has been picked up by the media and some people have been crunching heavily but a large part of the team is not crunching at all since they have finished their work. It's mostly about Q&A and engineers, programmers but it's not that heavy. Of course it will be extended a bit but we have feedback from the team, they're happy about the extra three weeks so we don't see any threats regarding crunch so that's what he said within a investor call but then he also sent out a mass email to his employees which stayed the following dear all from the bottom of my heart i would like to apologize to everybody for what i said during tuesday's investor conference call i had not wanted to comment on crunch yet i still did and i still did it in a deemingly and harmful way truth be told it's only now when the stress connected with the delay decision and the call itself is lifting, that I am fully realising the true extent of my words. I have nothing to say in my defence. What I said was not even unfortunate, it was utterly bad. For that, please accept my more sincere and honest apologies. I always was and am still proud of the heart and soul you put into what you do every day. Yours humbly, Adam. Now looking at this and what's actually going on here, in my opinion it is a little worrying, it just all seems like a mess which isn't good. I mean, I hope it isn't anywhere near as bad as a lot of these news publishers are making out because I don't want it affecting the game any further, but I just do not know people. It's clear by his apology, what's going down at CDPR, his remarks in that investor call has upset some employees. So what do you make of this? Let me know down below in that comments section. What's your entire opinion on this crunch or any crunch? Okay so moving on and while on the basis of yet another delay and while negative stories about the game's production it has seen its market capital drop by 2.5 billion euros according to many sources. Now in my opinion this was something that was bound to happen at a rate of 25% though I wouldn't have said but those are the reports. Now what I will mention is when this game does release they will indeed skyrocket again in my opinion. But does that mean it's time to invest? I would say 100% no, because at the end of the day, although shares will rise, it's the release date which is the problem here. If it gets delayed again, which in my opinion isn't off the table, that would be a big, big problem for new investors as well as current. But yeah, a drop in its capital was kind to be expected, and it's why I haven't seen many, many people cover it. Okay, so this game is definitely going to be covered by many, many content creators for sure. YouTube videos, live streams over on Twitch, 
So what about the game's music? And well, with 12 plus confirmed radio stations, there will be a ton of music to listen to. But how will said music affect live streams in terms of DMCAs and well, YouTube videos being hit with claims? Well, Dan's Gaming put forth this question to CDPR on Twitter asking the following. Will you guys have a streamer mode option to mute copyright music that is licensed for the game so content creators don't get DMCAs? In which they replied with, We'll share more details in the near future. What's good though, our soundtrack has been created from scratch. This includes all tracks from the numerous artists we work with. Their music has been made specifically for our game, making this a bit smoother, hopefully. Now this to me is kind of promising, and I love to see games doing this kind of thing. Because trust me guys, in-game music for a lot of content creators is hard to get around. And with Twitch seemingly going all out with the MCAs, it's good to know CDPR are on board and understand understand the troubles we have. So this does look promising and any more info here people obviously I will keep you updated right here on my channel. Ok so let's move on to two new in game images I haven't really seen many people talk about or cover. So this image is of a city district street and it was originally shared on Instagram by a dude called Rodson Official and then posted on reddit where many people claim this to be evidence some people have preview copies. I can confirm this is definitely not the case and what this is is a screenshot CDPR sent him due to him being a part of a taxi ad I believe. I searched high and low for answers and this is indeed what I found from numerous sources including Rodgson himself. But yeah definitely cool for sure and it is a great street pick. Also guys we have this screenshot which isn't new as it was from within the Night City Wire 4 stream but many people didn't pick up on it. What it shows is an NCPD at a crime scene which I actually don't believe is anything associated with us. I mean I could be wrong here but from what I found on this one it is one of the many many instances which reflect on how the world of cyberpunk goes on around you and that is very cool to think about. Ok so next up we have new advertisements. Now these images have been snapped all around the world from over the past few days and it's super crazy to see that already the new release date has been applied to them. We have advertisements on buses, buildings and much more. Now don't get this twisted people and think this is concrete evidence that this means the game is going to come on December 10th and that's a guaranteed date. I mean we saw advertisements in their many stating previous dates also. I mean it's crazy how much money they must have spent on said advertisements people. Ok so next up I want to talk about a Night City Wire episode 5. Now I just want to be brief on this. I'd have no information if one's coming I'd probably think there will be one and I definitely feel the community needs one for reassurance because I mean CDPR have gone majorly quiet since the latest announcement of that delay until December 10th I mean there's plenty of time between now and December 10th I mean it hasn't got to be dedicated to new gameplay or new information or anything like that we just really need reassurance from CDPR themselves and we're doing this via a Night City Wire episode I think would be the best thing but hey if they do want to drop new information on the game I mean who wouldn't accept that? But yes in my opinion a Night City Wire stream a new one is needed for reassurance of that community and hopefully we get one over the coming weeks. Ok so last up and to end the video we have a Japanese cyberpunk trailer featuring Keanu Reeves. Now this isn't a new trailer at all but I just had to show it yes because it's as cool as heck. Now before we do check that out people and end the video, my giveaway, I'm giving you guys a chance to win a copy of this game, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed, I will pick winners a week before this game drops, hopefully the week before December 10th. Now people enjoy this Japanese dub trailer, the anime vibes here are absolutely unreal and Japanese Keanu Reeves is the absolute best. So enjoy that trailer and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one. ことさ。ナイトシティに秘められた可能性は無限だ。必要なのは覚悟だけ。夢を掴め。そして火をつけろ。<笑><笑>